Let's understand how the MICE imputation algorithm works very clearly. We will see the exact step by step process of how this works. We will also implement MICE imputation in Python using scikit-learn in this one. So let's get on, get on with it. So MICE imputation short for multiple imputation by chain equation. So this has been around for quite some time. It was first introduced by Steph Van Buren in his R package called MICE by the same name in the year 2007. So this is the very first time where someone used machine learning to impute the missing values in any given data set. All right. So since then it is popular very, very, very much popular even today and this has been okay we will see the Python implementation first we will see the R implementation. So this is the exact page where the R package is located. Now you can see the author Steph Van Buren and he is maintaining this package till date. Now the exact same implementation is present in scikit-learn. If you go to scikit-learn.org, stable modules, impute.html. In this page here, multi, multivariate feature imputation. So here you can see iterative imputer class. This is the class that actually implements the MICE algorithm. All right, and they have referenced the original MICE algorithm that goes back to the MICE, this particular journal paper, right, by the same author, Steph Van Buren and Karen Gruthius Oudshoon. Not sure if I got it right. So they have published it here, and if you want to know more about the de detailed parameters of this particular iterator object, iterative imputer object, you can find it here. Now let's get back to this. Let's first try to understand how the MICE imputation works. So we will take this in two steps. First we will try to understand how the, what is the exact idea behind the MICE algorithm. First we will try to understand the idea and then we will further break it down into the exact steps of the MICE algorithm. All right. So first what is the idea behind it? Now to understand it, let's take an example data set. Let's imagine a data set that contains, contains three, three columns, three variables. All right. Let's call the variables as the different columns as A, B, and C, and it contains missing values all over the place. All right. So it contains missing values. Now, how my algorithm works is now in order to predict the missing values present in A. So we have two present two missing values present here. In order to predict this, we will build a machine learning model. We will train a machine learning model that tries to explain A or predict A as a function of the other two parameters, other two columns B and C. So we will train a machine learning model, it does not matter what is the algorithm you use. We can, MICE allows us the flexibility of using various different algorithms. I will show you how to do that later on in this video. But understand, we built a machine learning model. While building this, we will not include these two rows. We will exclude these two rows and build this model or train this model on all the rows except, except these two rows where the A column is missing. All right. Once this is trained, we will, we will come back to these two rows. We know the actual values of B and C in these two rows, feed it to this model, feed it to this model right? and that will give us the predicted values of A. That is this missing values of A will be obtained through this. We do the same logic for columns B and C also. So for predicting B, we will try to predict B as a function of A and C and for predicting C, we will, we will build C as a function of A and B, alright. So this is the whole idea, the fundamental idea behind how MICE algorithm works is what we just described. Now Steph Van Buren, the author behind MICE has thought this through in a little bit more detail and come up with the MICE algorithm. So let us now understand the full, full fledged complete algorithm behind how the MICE works. Now for this also we are going to take the same three sets of variables. Let us take three variables, alright, let us take, let us take A, B and C and some values are missing in, missing in all these three columns, alright, some values are missing here. Now how MICE works is as follows. First, in the very first step, we will decide the number of iterations we have to run. So, we can set k, the number of iterations k to a very large number or some somewhat medium number. We can set it as 10, we can set it as 3, we can set it as 100, it depends. 
Now for the sake of understanding we will set simply set it as 3 alright. To keep things simple we will set the number of iterations as 3. Now depending on how we are setting the value of k we will create copies of the original data set create as many copies as you have set as the, as the value of k. So here in this case since k equal to 3 we will create 3 different copies 3 different copies of the original data set. So in these copies we have the same 3 columns we have the same 3 columns a b and c a b c a b c a b and c. So we have 3 sets because k equal to 3 and we also have the, missing, the same set of missing values here also alright these values are missing same set of missing values is present here also alright. So this is this is the very first step we, we just set the number of iterations and take copies of the original data set. Now what we do is for the very first iteration k equal to 1 what we do is we replace the missing values in this data or for all the columns we will replace the missing values by taking an approximation. So the approximation is for these two values we will take the median value of a median of a column a likewise for these two values in column b we will take the median of median of column b. So these two values will be the same the imputed value will be the same. So this is a temporary approximate imputation likewise for these two values we will take median of c alright. After this step there will not be any missing values in this particular data set all missing values are gone. After this after this iteratively we will go one column after the other for the very first column the a column we will build a machine learning model. So a as a function of like just like how we saw earlier a as a function of the other two columns in the data b and c. In this machine learning model in this model we will exclude we will okay we will turn back before you build this model we will turn back for a alone we will turn back this data to missing back again alright. This these are all these are not missing now anymore these are existing data this is imputed data temporarily imputed right only only this these two data points right now are missing right. Now when building this model we will not include these two data points we will not include the original rows where a was missing and train this model once this is trained we will use the values here values of b and c here pass these values to this model substitute these values to this model and get the predicted values of a the, the column a in both of these instances the missing values all right. Now we have a better prediction originally we had the median of a originally now we are expected to have a better prediction of the missing values in column a all right. So column a is fixed now we do the same thing the exact same thing for column b also when we are building for column b we will turn back the original missing values these two rows we will turn back to turn it back to missing the exact same way we did for column a we will turn this back to missing build b as a function of a and c right then do the same thing we will use these values of a and c and predict these two these values yeah the same thing we will do for c also the column c also right for column c also we will do the same thing. So at the end of the first iteration at the end of the first iteration k equal to 1 once this is complete all the missing values present in the original data set will be replaced by machine learning predicted ml predicted values for all the columns in this data. So that completes iteration 1 in second iteration we said for k equal to 2 in the second iteration we do the same thing we do the same thing now when I say when I say we do the same thing we are going to build this exact same model the exact same model for a that is we will make these two so these are now these two missing values have been filled up using imputation method the previous step right now we will turn it back we will turn it back to missing we will turn it back to missing and build this model again now this time in this model this is this is expected to be performing better than the previous iteration why because the columns b and c earlier b and c had median the approximate values for the missing values in b right for b and c the, the, the values were approximate because we had used a temporary imputation. Now in this iteration 
both B and C are obtained using machine learning predictions which is expected to be slightly better than the median predictions. Right? So we do this one more time for all three columns A, B and C. In each of the iterations for, that is, for each of the columns, the other columns is the missing values in the other columns are going to be based out of they, they were imputed using machine learning algorithms and that is why the whole output here will be a slight improvement from the previous iterations output. And we repeat this procedure for k number of times how many number iterations we had decided earlier on we will do it for that many number of iterations. And this is the exact algorithm of how the mice algorithm works right now you can relate it right so multiple iterative chained equations. So each and every iteration are linked to each other. So the values in present values in that we predicted in iteration 1 are carried over to iteration 2. Likewise values we predicted in iteration 2 are carried over to iteration 3 that is why it is called chained and it is iterative in nature right that is why the name mice. Let us now implement the mice algorithm imputation is implementation is quite straight. We are going to use the iterative imputer class from scikit-learn. Now in order to use this class this is still experimental in nature as per scikit-learn documentation I have not encountered any problem with it so far. So in order to use this use you need to run enable iterative imputer this is present in scikit-learn.experimental you need to run this first then import this I am also importing random forest regressor we will use this separately in this in this iteration in this example itself alright. So import all the modules if you have not been following along with the previous videos we have we have a data frame using the churn modeling data set if you have not run this earlier you might want to run this part again so that the data set that you want to use is ready alright I will make this available to you. Now the data is present in order to use this in order to use this okay ignore this part ignore this part for now we will need to need to initialize the iterative imputer set a random stage. So the iterative imputer this does the mice, mice imputation this is initialized then take only the column that we want to impute we want to impute the balance column primarily so we have we are taking balance age and excited yeah take this so we are going to train balance as a function of age and excited yeah so do imputer dot fit this will try to predict each of these columns as a function of the other columns ex existing in this data. Now the training is complete with this step training is complete then use imputer dot transform to fill up the missing values the values that were originally missing in df train alright. Now the output here so this is the balance column age and exited column no missing values is present in this output. Then we are replacing uh, the values in df itself using df imputed yes. So the imputation has been complete and we have inside the balance column you will not see any missing values present over here. So that is how we implement we implement mice imputation. Now one final detail to notice the iterative imputer class allows us to use allows us to use whichever machine learning model we want to use. So in this case I am using this in this example we are using random forest regressor. So initialize this regressor and pass this object as the estimator parameter. Now to understand what this parameter does we go to the API reference. So here okay this is the list of the other other estimators available. So the, the API reference for iterative imputer if you go here under estimator the estimator to use in each step of the round robin imputation by default this is set as Bayesian ridge algorithm. So this is the algorithm that mice imputation uses by default. Now instead of Bayesian ridge what would be the prediction that we will get if we use random forest regressor. Besides random forest regressor you have several other machine learning algorithms you want you can use Adaboost classifier, Adaboost regressor bagging extra trees, gradient boosting classifier, isolation forest, various different algorithms exist. You can refer to this for you can go for I think more algorithms would exist inside uh, inside supervised learning algorithms should also exist if you search for it. So you can search for SVM and you will be able to find each of these classes also here. 
So in this text, in this case, we take the random forest regressor and just pass in that particular estimator, that particular object to the estimator parameter of iterative imputer. Rest of the process is exactly the same. You can simply run this and the prediction that you will get out of it finally will be based on random forest regressor object. So by now you should have a fair understanding of how exactly the MICE algorithm works and how to impute it in Python.